Peace to all of you, my dear friends in Christ. This is Father Ricky Montañez, the parish priest of San Roque Parish, Bagumbayan, Diocese of Cubao. Nakakabaliw at nakakainis basahin o panoorin ang mga nega na posts at videos sa social media. It destroys our peace and mental well-being. Kahit sa text, kung di tayo mag-iingat, baka nagpapalaganap na din pala tayo ng fake news. As my friend calls it, we ourselves become purveyors of death rather than of life to those around us. Hindi ba't mas maganda na tayo ay nagbibigay buhay at pag-asa? Bakit natin kailangang sumali sa napakaraming mapanira at negatibo? There are so many traces of death, destruction, and chaos in all aspects of life today. Sometimes, it may feel like we are living in tombs like Lazarus. Cheer up though, because all is not lost. The Gospel reading is quite clear. Although we cannot, on our own, raise ourselves out of the many forms of death that afflict us, the author of life never tires of reviving us. Jesus is constantly calling to us, inviting us to follow Him, the same way He called Lazarus out of his grave to restore him to life. The restoration of life depicted in the readings is very much like the work of creation. In the beginning, the creature that had been formed from the dust of the ground came into being when God breathed the breath of life into it. Pag pinipili natin ang mga bagay na alinsunod kay Kristo, parang kasali tayo sa gawain ng Diyos, sa pagbibigay buhay. We participate in God's work of creation, in Christ's work of redemption, in the Spirit's work of recreation. In times of crises like the earthquake in Turkey and Syria, we witness the volunteerism of many good Samaritans, heroes, and saints. We can choose to be like them in our own circumstances, we only need to draw from what is true, good, and Christ-like within each of us. Let us be life givers to one another, bringing people out of their tombs of death and drawing them to faith and hope in our God.